We have an MCC update when it comes to the map Waterfall coming into the playlist, as well as Escalation Slayer on top of the new progress we've made for modding support with the MCC. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we recently received a nice MCC development update. Even though we had the new season come out on Wednesday, every Friday we get a new development update and we definitely have some questions after the release of season six about some content in there and how that content can be put into the MCC more fully. So if you guys like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So there are three main topics that this development update touches on. We have the new map Waterfall, which sounds like it will be coming into the rotational place at some point. It just needs a little more time to make sure they iron out all the performance issues, as it seems like a lot of people on the original Xbox One have a lot of performance frame drops when it comes to playing on Waterfall. Me, personally, I'm playing on PC, and I definitely do know some frame drops, especially in that center kind of command center turbine area. I certainly have noticed a lot of drops below 60. We actually did some custom game nights on the release of Season 6. We did like some 16 player lobbies and I was definitely dipping below like even probably into the 40s when it comes to the frame rate on that map. Of course the map is designed for 4v4 so only 8 players really which would put a lot less stress on the system to perform properly. Though when the map does get implemented into the rotation of maps the player you actually get a chance to have its, its own exclusive playlist showcased right here with this icon. If you see that coming around in your playlist when it comes to the MCC that means it's a waterfall only playlist so if you want to jump in and just play waterfall and that map only, now it's your chance to do it. Seeing a map specific playlist certainly gets my hopes up for maybe potentially new playlists that come with the MCC. I'm still holding out my hearts for a Blood Gold slash Valhalla slash Ragnarok only playlist, like a 24 seven kind of thing, but with, with just those iconic large scale maps. Cause I, I would just love to just spend all day an entire stream playing blood gulch and combat evolved that just would be my home again though in the near term we're actually next week with the wednesday weekly update for the mcc for playlist we will be getting a new mode called escalation slayer in the rotational playlist what escalation slayer is is essentially gun game if you guys have ever played gun game i'm sure many of you have we got a chance to play around with it a lot within the release of Season 6 on some custom games on stream. And we had a great time. Currently right now, Escalation Slayer, aka Gun Game, is available for Halo Reach, H2A, as well as Halo 4. I found that the most fun when we just completely broke the game in a way. I think we did uh, like Halo 2 Anniversary with 16 player lobbies on the map Warlord, which is like the, you know, the Warlock remake. And it's just total chaos, but absolute fun at the same time. If 343 does this when it comes to the Escalation Slayer playlist, so say having like 10, 12, 16 player lobbies on like 4v4 maps, I think it'd be a lot of fun and people would really enjoy it. And if you do just like a regular eight player free for all kind of thing, which I have a feeling will most likely what will happen, um, I feel like it just wouldn't be as fun because you're really just playing gun game for just kind of casual blow up and just randomness kind of fun stuff happening. I don't really picture many people trying to win and if you win it's just kind of a fun addition to the experience of playing gun game in the MCC but you know it's up to their design choices. I, mean, I said this up on Twitter and a lot of people did agree with me as well. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about how 343 should implement gun game into the MCC. If you guys ever want a chance to play some of those insane custom games that we played earlier like I've been mentioning so make sure to check out the link in the description down below and the pinned comment for our twitch channel guys we do stream there every Tuesday and Thursday night of course not this upcoming week because I'll be away on vacation but I do have some awesome videos planned for you guys more discussionary kind of stuff but I hope you guys will check them out and lastly we talk about modding support when it comes to the MTC this kind of got shadow added into the season 6 update we did not expect us to come in but you can replace combat evolved maps with custom edition maps into the MCC. Basically all you do is you drag and drop the file into the, where the map folder is. All you have to do is rename a file and then boom you're playing a custom edition map in CE which is super cool. In this update they added in like a Q&A kind of also a frequently asked question and also just uh, entire like licensing kind of stuff when it comes to modding in the MCC. So we're getting one step closer guys to like true modding support on the MCC. So if there are any modders out there looking to play around with the MCC I highly suggest checking the link in the description down 
below for the dev update, which will be linked. There you get a chance to read the licensing that's available and also the frequently asked questions. Hopefully it adds some clarity to what you're kind of having some questions about when it comes to modding content with the MCC. But it looks like we got the legality out of the way. Now I'm sure 343 can really focus on trying to develop some proper mod tools for MCC to, for people to really go crazy with it. Because modding support is going to be the lifeblood of MCC. It's going to be the one thing that's going to carry on the legacy of that game beyond the release of Halo Infinite. And talking about Halo Infinite, I have videos planned all next week strictly talking about Halo Infinite and the different aspects of that game. We'll be talking about campaign, multiplayer, and my biggest fear as well. So if you guys want to check out those videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.